I think the part of the end of the print-created linear Christian positivist dispensation, etc., etc., is the recognition that all, that mind extends infinitely in all directions. It isn't all rationally apprehendable to the primate neural architecture, but the ocean thinks, the continents think, the solar system thinks, the sun thinks. Can we think what they think? Probably not, but then an infinite frontier of potential intellectual evolution opens up through the concept of an unlimited project of understanding. You know, um, Whitehead once pushed on the subject of understanding said, understanding is the apperception of pattern as such. That's all it is, pattern as such. Well, any given context a room full of people, a coral reef, a planetary system will display, if you observe it carefully enough, an infinite number of patterns as such. And as you discover one and then another and then another, you feel this aha experience which we associate with the, an epiphany of understanding, one of the coolest things that a human being uh, can experience. So uh, this is why what Marx said last night about virtual reality being a tool for seeing nature at different scales is so, that gets my wheels turning because I want to see planetary processes. I want to see the heat flow from the polar ice caps to the equator. I want to understand the salinity of the oceans. I want to grasp the speed at which volcanism is altering the seafloor and the atmosphere. Well, these are God, this is what God does, if, uh, you know, is sits around and watches creation on at the interesting scale. Uh, uh, and and it not only can be done, it is being done, and it will be done better and better. And, uh, you know, the, there was the old cliché back at the dawn of the space age as guys went into orbit for the first time and out to the moon, the epiphany of seeing the whole Earth at once. And they said, well, we can't explain it to you, but when you see it, you know, a blue-green pea spinning in the darkness, you can, you're never the same. Well, we all can see that, and much more. You can see to the mantle, you can pull out to the Oort cloud and see the entire solar system shrink down to a spinning dot. You can lose that in the vastness. And all of this stuff is not without consequence. People, the virtual reality in some people's mouths becomes almost a dim dismissive term, but that's because they're uh, objectification freaks and don't understand that the power is in the information, you know? I mean, I, I feel that I've been on the surface of Titan, that I understand the lava fields of Io, that I've walked to the valleys of Mars because I've been to all those places informationally. But you prefer Hawaii. <laughs> the air's better. <laughs>